It's just one that was kind of interesting, but you had a series with the K-Man Connection, Rick Martel and Tom Zank, and then the next night oh, you yeah, wrestled them. Oh yeah, I forgot them. about those guys. They were a great team. Yeah. So you wrestled them, and then and then they became Strike Force literally right. overnight. Love it. Anything Tito was in, and the other guy, uh, yeah. Tom, Tom Zink, Zink, yeah. great performer. I can't believe he passed away. Yeah. You know, like, shit, this guy was tremendous in the ring. And the other guy uh, before he uh, before he became the model, Rick Rick Martel, yeah. he was great to wrestle against. So you know, it was all good. I think that was they were all once Can Am connection, wasn't it? Wasn't it Rick Martel first and 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 uh, and Tito, and then Martel turned to be the model, and then Tom Zink moved in. It could have been. I yeah, I think I think he's right about that. Yeah. And then Zink moved in with Tito yeah. for the Can Am Connection yeah. thing. Thing. Yeah, and then Rick Martel. Zink, Zink finally got mad and quit through his bad. Guy. Yeah, he and was a, what a dumbass. The kid, he, he had a good a, look. Oh, he, they would have gave him anything. He freaked out he, like Wyndham. He couldn't take it anymore. Yeah, he, you know, and he, he quit. He, all he had to do was just keep his head about him for fucking five minutes. A lot of people don't know how to handle success, you know, and uh, they just don't know how to handle it. Yeah, uh, there's more, more, more guys have fallen, not in failure, but in success. And because once they got successful, they didn't, they didn't know what to do with themselves, and, and you know, they, they, they fall under uh, people's uh, under bad circumstances. People, you know, hey, do this. You know, the next thing you know, they're gambling, or, they're, or the next thing you know, they're doing drugs, or they're doing alcohol. They're doing, they're doing they, because they got successful, they got money, they can do all. You know, all of a sudden, you can always find a friend that'll take you to go have a drink, or take you to a casino to gamble, or take you down to the local. home. <laughs> place and get some dope and, and, and get high. Those friends are plenty when you got money, but when you don't have money, you don't find, there's nobody nobody hanging around to take you anywhere. And then that's 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 the biggest problem with success. Fall from grace. Is you can't maintain fall from yourself. Grace, you man, man, can't maintain. That's where you gotta save money <clears throat> and uh, you know, count your, don't count your chickens before they hatch. <laughs> I'm sorry to say it happens. But you know, you, you, you got to maintain that and keep a savings account. That's the only thing that keeps it going. Because you're always going to, this the business, at least for Bruce and myself, we've always, we've had low times and then we bounced right back, you know? And him just getting in the Hall of Fame and it's helped me too. Him getting in the Hall of Fame has helped me. I went in 10 years ago, so it, it's- 15 it's years ago. Oh, okay. Yeah, 2004, so, you know, so it's, it's uh, he should have been in long before. Maybe I went in too soon, I don't know, but it, it's all yeah, you good. deserve to be in there. Yeah. But now, okay, quick now, look. Yes. Well, I'm going to give a plug here yeah, for I was us. Going through, I know where you're going. <laughs> go, okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Dream team for yeah. Hall of Fame, okay? Right, right. You got Kid Rock, you got some real clouds in there, yeah. but... Let's talk about putting a first the class tag team, tag team, one of the best ever, ever, ever in the business in the history and, of the. And we're not blowing our own horns, or we're, I guess we a, are, but it's just a fact. It's the truth. It's, it's a, a fact, fact, Jack. It's a and, fact, Jack. The oh, okay. team it needs to be in the Hall of Fame either next year or the year after that or whenever, but soon. And, and they should put the Bulldogs in too, well, even though both of them are deceased. The thing is, nobody realizes, yeah. they don't have a clue the kind of money that was coming in in the, in the years, in, in the 80s. In those mid to late 80s years when Greg and I were both rock. Mean and, and lean. There was, so, the every the show, show, they were not, not selling out one show. But selling out two or, two or, three, two or three a day, every we day. Were, you know, we they had a, a A team, a B team, and a C we'd team. We'd go to Tom's, Toronto and go to Ottawa that night and sell both of them out. You know, you know, so it was you a, know 40, 40,000 venues. 40,000 people, know, people between the two, 40, 50,000. Sky Dome. You know, things. And, and, and the merchandise and the money that they were clearing was, was, was insane. They were making. So, so much money. That's the heyday. I don't care about nowadays. The heyday was the 80s, and everybody will really tell you that. 
and, and we're fortunate enough to be here to talk about it because the eighties was rough. Almost nobody's left. The eighties is rough, you know. What? You look at our album cover. Greg pulled out the wrestling album cover yeah. the other day, and I started looking at one. I go, "Oh my God!" Yeah. Half of the guys, not more than half of the guys on the They're album cover are all gone. God bless them. There's only a few of us even left that are on there. Yeah. So. Yeah.